Hello. If you are watching this video, it is because God wants you to receive a very special message. You've arrived at the right time, because today I'm going to reveal something extremely important to you. Tonight, something inexplicable and extraordinary will happen in your life in the next two hours. The signs will begin to manifest themselves, and you must pay close attention to this. You cannot ignore this divine message to avoid future regrets. It's crucial that you know this, because it's happening today, from a place you can't even imagine. It is important that you keep this a secret for seven days, and at the end we will say a prayer together, so that all the blessings that are to come materialize in your life. Please don't let this go unnoticed and don't let it bother you in the future. Whenever you hear a word or term that resonates with you, it's important to embrace it. Accept that your father immediately begins the flow of blessings in your life. Save this video as a testimony of the incredible blessings to come. It's priceless, so please leave your comments here. God performed a miracle with me to confirm your commitment to the miracle that is coming to you now. Welcome to the channel God said this to you today. My dear son, today I ask that you give me just 8 minutes of your precious time. 8 minutes to increase your understanding and explain why you fight and why you can remain strong and courageous in the face of adversity. Get ready to witness special events happening in your life before the 8 minutes are up. You will feel that something good is coming. It is a divine promise that will blossom before your eyes and transform every aspect of your being. Everything will change and change forever. The change you so desire, the answer you constantly seek, is about to reveal itself completely to you. Remember, there are only 8 minutes left until the countdown ends, and your life will change forever. So listen to every word that comes out of my mouth, because in just a few seconds I'm going to reveal a big secret that you never imagined and that will make all your family and friends proud of you. Believe that, so please leave a comment saying, Gee I definitely believe that. Listen, son. You have many brothers and sisters who are my children, but each of you is like an only child to me, made in my image and likeness. Amen. It's true that luck improves everything. What you learn will be rewarded double. Stay tuned, because in 66 seconds you will have a unique experience if you continue with me in faith and with an open heart. Now the presence of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. Amen. Son. Do it now, please. Let this video be concrete evidence of your abundant blessings. Don't be afraid, believe and accept every word. To show that you accept this gift, leave a comment saying, Ye I believe in God the Father. This is already a sign that you are here. Son, do you know why I love you so much, even when you sin? The answer may not be what you expect, but you will find out later. Pay attention and don't lose focus. For now, know that you are one of the chosen few who will receive this gift, a gift that will fill your pockets with great financial, spiritual and loving prosperity. Now I want to share a sacred secret with you. You are one of the chosen ones who will receive a special gift, a gift that transcends material limits. Witness prosperity emerge in all aspects of your life, financially, spiritually and lovingly. This is my gift of love and grace to you. Please understand my love. Even though you are weak, you deserve my mercy. The love I offer is an unconditional love that transcends your weaknesses and imperfections. Today I am here to reveal the greatness of this love and how it will be the catalyst for the change that is to come. Like a fast-flowing river, my overflowing presence will fill you with life. My divine presence will heal you of everything that stands in the way of your success. I hope you have received this notification now. Then leave a comment saying, E Father, your presence heals me of everything that holds me back. Let us now comment with fewer words, but with more power, God is my prosperity. I love hearing your heartbeat with joy. Son, you can't imagine now. Click to see what new things you want in this video. And the moment you say the following prayer in faith, the key you have chosen will open for you. But before you pray to unlock your miracles, there are a few things you need to understand. 
It is important to know who locked the lock, and it is also important to learn how to always unlock it. Son, now I'm going to tell you who locked the key. So, I will tell you how to open the miracle lock whenever you want. Next, I will teach you the special Our Father that opens the lock of prosperity and abundant miracles. Here's some of the spoken secret you'll unlock today. Can you imagine a spiritual experience that not only touches but uplifts every moment of your life? Listen, the lock on your life will be unlocked and you will understand later. First, I want to reveal a special secret. So listen carefully. This is the secret we are sharing now. God is telling you today that this is a unique, transformative experience. Imagine being inspired every day by the blessings of hope and prosperity, all to enrich your path. The desire for a deep and meaningful spiritual transformation may be within your reach. Exclusive access is available during Holy Week, from November 24th to December 1st. Get 50% off, says God, and a special bonus for your first 50 purchases. Don't miss this special opportunity. Click the link to the right now and unlock the spiritual transformation that resonates with your desire for more meaning. Your time has come. I'm here to reveal to you who is closing the lock that sometimes seems to block the flow of blessings in your life. Pay attention, because understanding this truth will be the first step to opening doors that have been closed for a long time. Blocking is often the result of your own insecurities, doubts, and sometimes lack of trust in my divine plan for your life. But even when things seem difficult, I want to assure you that I, your Heavenly Father, have never closed the door on you. Sometimes you may stray from the path I have prepared for you. Now, let's learn how to unlock this magical key. The key lies in your faith. With complete faith in my love and the promises contained in my word, recognizing that I am your Father who loves you unconditionally, begin to turn the key in this lock. When your faith aligns with my will, the locks open and blessings flow like a mighty river. Now I'm going to teach you a special prayer from the Lord's Prayer, a prayer that unlocks prosperity and even the knots of the impossible. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Dear child, this prayer is like a master key that opens the door to abundant blessings. Keep this in mind and repeat it whenever you feel the need to release the magic into your life. You are loved, and doors are open for you. Have confidence and move forward with faith. Amen. My son, you think that this Our Father is the Father of the Bible, and you are right, because it is a prayer that must be said every day. She is strong. So please leave a comment saying, Our Father has power. Now, through this video, I want to reveal two secrets that you will receive today. So pay attention, because everything I'm saying right now is true. My dear son, before you begin this journey, I want you to reflect on the path you have taken so far. The hardships, tears, and challenges you faced shaped you. Every step you take, even in the most difficult times, are steps that make you stronger and more resilient, laying the foundation for future rewards. Remember the time when you thought you couldn't take it anymore. At the time, the situation seemed untenable, but look at yourself now, remaining strong and prepared for what's to come. Honey, this is no coincidence, it's an innate ability I gave you. I will make you strong and capable so that you can overcome all difficulties. My love is not your fight, it is mine. As the ruler of the army, I have already won victory. Realize that everything you face, I have faced and will face, is under my sovereignty. You are not alone and victory is already yours. Embrace this unique blessing. Here you can discover some important travel facts in 26 seconds. You will also find out who is talking about you. Pay attention to the signs and don't jump, otherwise you will regret it. Son, today I want you to be grateful for every challenge that shaped you, for every tear that strengthened your vision. Because in my wisdom, 
Everything was planned for this moment. When you thought you couldn't go on any longer, I was there. When you thought you had no strength, I supported you. Bless your brother who is watching this video and discover the secret together with him. Say this in his comment, Je my brother, I am with you. Son, now I want you to stop what you are doing and listen to my voice. This is a direct appeal to your core, and I call your name. You know why. Because you are special and unique to me, and I have big plans for your life. Before we go any further, I want you to think about a time when your faith was tested and the burden felt too heavy. In each of these situations, I was silently watching and waiting. And now it's time to reap the fruits of your trust in me. Honey, the word e-wait here is not a passive voice. It is an action full of expectation and confidence. While you wait, get ready for transformation, because I'm about to provide everything you need to make your life dramatically better. This includes wound healing, problem solving, and abundance in all areas of your life. I call you by name because I know every detail of your being, your desires, your struggles, your dreams. And as a loving father, I want to give you the best. Trust me like never before, because your wait will not be in vain. Get ready to witness miracles, to experience a divine twist in your story. When you think about giving up, remember this moment, this promise I'm making to you right now. Your life is about to be flooded with blessings that will surprise your understanding. You are now activating the power within you. You know what it is? Well, it has two letters, and when put into practice, it makes mountains move. Have you found out yet? Yes, it is your belief. But darling, before I unlock your keys, I'm happy to say that I'm with you. I need to talk. Do you see yourself facing a battle like Shadow Valley? Love, sometimes I see the sadness in your heart and the questions that echo in your mind. Why do you feel like something is missing? Why is this world full of evil and violence? I understand these cruel doubts and today, I want to reveal to you a deeper truth that goes beyond appearances. My son, the world does not always reveal its true nature. Behind appearances, there is a spiritual war between good and evil. What you see is just the tip of the iceberg, but I am in control and nothing is beyond my sight. Many of the challenges and sufferings you face are the result of human choice, of the free will granted to each person. Evil exists because free will exists. But even in the midst of chaos, I try to turn bad into good to save my heart. Dear ones, understand this, you are here for a greater purpose. Even in adversity, I shape your character, strengthen your faith, and prepare you for your great destiny. Don't give up on the challenge, see it as an opportunity to grow and learn. Often, when we ask ourselves why things aren't the way we want them to be, we forget that we can be agents of change. I have provided you with unique talents and skills. Instead of just asking questions, ask yourself, how can I be a light in the midst of the darkness? What can I do to bring about change in my life? My son, know that I am your protector, even in the chaos of the world. Come to me with all your worries, and I will give rest to your soul. In difficult times, I am an unshakable rock you can rely on. Today, I invite you to walk with me in the light of truth. While the question remains, know that often the answer connects me more deeply. Let me guide you through the mysteries of life, and together we will face each challenge. Son, trust me. You are not alone, and with me by your side, adversity will turn into opportunity. Comment e God's opportunities come to me. Son, did you feel the beat of my heart? The calm in the storm? There is nothing to fear, even when affliction knocks at your door. Today, I want to reveal to you that my blessing extends beyond the spiritual. It also reaches the financial sphere of your life. As it says in Malachi 3 verse 1, E bring all the tithes into my temple, and I will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing so great that you will have nowhere to store it. This is the opportunity to practice generosity, and I will be true to my promise. Son, 
Financial blessings often come disguised as opportunities. It could be a new job, a business idea, or even the forgiveness of a debt that is weighing on your shoulders. When these opportunities arise, accept them with joy. Joy is a form of gratitude, and gratitude is fertile ground for my blessings. Rejoice, because what is in store for you is something that will transform your reality. Now, open your heart to this prayer for your financial life. Lord God of prosperity and abundance, I come before you with a grateful heart. I thank you for every resource you have entrusted to me so far. Today, I place my financial concerns before you. I ask that you bless all areas of my life related to finances. Allow me to recognize the opportunities you place before me. Give me wisdom to manage the resources you entrust to me fairly and wisely. If there are debts to be forgiven, I thank you for your generosity and forgiveness. May every penny that passes through my hands be blessed, multiplied and used for your glory. Open the gates of heaven over my financial life, as you promised, so that I can be a channel of blessing to others, sharing the generosity you shower upon me. In the name of Jesus, my Savior, Amen. We lift our voices in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Long live the resurrected Jesus. Christ, if your faith is unshakable and you believe in the manifestation of blessings, share with us saying a thank you e today and always. Dad, share this video with friends and family. Together, we will impact millions of hearts. Tell them that God is telling you this today. Do not ignore this message. Subscribe to our channel and activate the bell for more blessings like this. May God's love and grace always be present on your journey. Praised be our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear son, I understand that you often feel overwhelmed by the difficulties you face. The world can be a challenging place, full of obstacles that seem insurmountable. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. It is through these trials that you grow stronger and draw closer to me. I am here to guide you, to support you, and to ensure that you are never alone. My presence is always with you, even in the darkest moments. Now, let's talk about the importance of gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can transform your life. When you start to be grateful for the little things, your perspective changes. You begin to see abundance around you. Gratitude opens the door to more blessings as the universe responds to your positive attitude. So every morning, start your day by giving thanks for three things you are grateful for. It can be something as simple as the sunlight, the air you breathe, or the love of your loved ones. Furthermore, it is crucial that you keep your faith strong. Faith is the anchor that will keep you steady in times of storm. When you trust me completely, without doubts or fears, you allow my power to work in your life in surprising ways. Faith is like a seed that, when planted in fertile soil, grows into a sturdy tree. Cultivate your faith daily through prayer, meditation, and reading my word. Let's talk about the importance of community. No man is an island, and you were created to live in communion with others. The community offers support, encouragement, and love. Find a group of people with whom you can share your faith and challenges. Together, you can become stronger and grow. Remember, where two or more are gathered together in my name, there I am in their midst. Community is a source of strength and inspiration, so don't underestimate the power of human connections. By the way, the importance of sharing your blessings cannot be underestimated. When you share your blessings with others, you create a cycle of kindness and generosity. Helping others not only blesses those around you, it also enriches your own life. Be generous with your time, your resources and your love. The more you give, the more you will receive in return. This is a universal law that applies to all aspects of life. I also want to talk about the importance of forgiveness. Forgiveness is a powerful act that frees you from the weight of bitterness and resentment. When you forgive those who have wronged you, you make room in your heart for healing and peace. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, 
but of strength. It is a conscious decision to leave past hurts behind and move forward with a light mind and heart. Ask for my help to forgive and be forgiven, and I will give you the strength you need to do so. Dear son, you too must learn to hear my voice. I speak to you in many ways, through the Bible, prayer, nature, and even the people around you. Pay attention to the signs and messages I send. I am often speaking to you in moments of silence and tranquility. Take time every day to be silent and listen to my voice. I am always here to guide and guide you every step of the way. Now, let's address the importance of having dreams and goals. Dreams are the expression of your deepest aspirations and desires. They are a reflection of your purpose and the mission I have for you. Don't be afraid to dream big and pursue your goals with determination. I place these dreams in your heart for a reason. Work diligently to achieve them and trust that I am by your side every step of the way. Furthermore, I want you to know that patience is an important virtue. Often, the greatest miracles and blessings come after periods of waiting. Trust my perfect timing. When it feels like nothing is happening, know that I'm working behind the scenes to prepare the best for you. Patience strengthens your faith and prepares you to receive the blessings I have in store. Another crucial point is the importance of maintaining a positive mindset. Your thoughts have incredible power to shape your reality. When you think positively and confidently, you attract good things into your life. Avoid negative and pessimistic thoughts. Instead, focus on what is good, true, and uplifting. A positive mindset not only improves your quality of life, but also attracts more blessings and opportunities. Son, I want you to also remember to take care of your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and it is important to treat it with respect and care. Maintain a healthy diet, exercise regularly, and get adequate rest. Your physical well-being directly affects your spiritual and emotional well-being. Take care of yourself so that you can better serve myself and others. Now, I want to share with you a fundamental principle, the importance of integrity. Integrity means being true to yourself and others. It means doing the right thing, even when no one is looking. When you live with integrity, you align with my will and attract my blessing. Be honest in all your actions and words. Integrity is the foundation of a blessed and fruitful life. Dear ones, it is also essential that you develop a heart of service. Serving others is a powerful way to show my love and live out your faith in practical ways. Look for opportunities to help those around you, whether in your community, your church or your workplace. A heart of service brings joy and purpose to your life and positively impacts the lives of others. Additionally, I want to talk about the importance of humility. Humility does not mean thinking less of yourself, but thinking about yourself less. It's recognizing that you are part of something bigger and that you depend on me for everything. Humility opens the way to wisdom and blessings. Be humble in all your interactions and remember that every good gift comes from me. Son, I want you to know that the spiritual journey is continuous. No matter how far you've come, there's always more to learn and grow. Continue seeking my presence, studying my word and deepening your faith. The spiritual journey is a path of constant growth and transformation. I am with you every step, guiding you and strengthening you. Finally, I want to remind you of the importance of love. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. Love me with all your heart, mind and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Love transforms, heals and unites. Let love guide all your actions and decisions. When you live in love, you reflect my nature and attract more love and blessings into your life. Now, I want to say a special prayer with you. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and love. I thank you for every blessing you shower on me and for every lesson I learned along the way. I ask that you continue to guide me, strengthen my faith, and shape my character according to your will. Help me to be a light in the world, to live with integrity, to serve others with joy, and to love unconditionally. 
May your presence be constant in my life, and may I always trust your perfect plan. In the name of Jesus, Amen. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May you continue to grow in faith, love and wisdom, and may your life be a reflection of the glory of God. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any messages. Share this video with friends and family, so that together we can spread God's blessings. Two videos appeared on your screen. If one of them caught your attention, don't deny it. Press play and watch until the end. Even if you've already seen it, the blessing always increases when you watch it again. May God bless you abundantly. See you in the next video. Dear child, the journey you are on is full of promise and blessings. Remain firm in faith, keep your heart open and always be willing to listen to my voice. I am with you, guiding every step and blessing every moment. May your life be a continual expression of my love and grace. Dear son, I want you to know that your journey is full of promise and blessings. Remain firm in faith, keep your heart open and always be willing to listen to my voice. I am with you, guiding every step and blessing every moment. May your life be a continual expression of my love and grace. Amen. Throughout this journey, it is important that you maintain a constant connection with me. Prayer is the key to strengthening this connection. Take time every day to talk to me, share your concerns, your dreams and your hopes. Prayer is not just a list of requests, but an intimate and sincere conversation between us. When you open yourself in prayer, I hear every word, every sigh and every beat of your heart. I also want to emphasize the importance of living in the present. Often, we get stuck in the past or anxious about the future, forgetting to fully live the present moment. Each day is a gift I give you, full of opportunities to grow, love and serve. Appreciate the small daily blessings, find joy in the simple things, and be present in each moment. By living in the present, you will find peace and contentment. Additionally, I want you to develop an abundance mindset. We are often conditioned to think about scarcity, worrying about what we lack. But I am a God of abundance, and my blessings are infinite. When you start to see the world through a lens of abundance, you attract more good things into your life. Believe that there is enough for everyone and that you deserve every blessing that comes your way. I want to talk about the importance of self-acceptance. Love and accept yourself as you are. You were created in my image, and every detail of you is intentional. Your flaws and imperfections are part of your humanity, but they do not define your value. Embrace your uniqueness, celebrate your accomplishments, and be kind to yourself. Self-acceptance is a crucial step towards a full and happy life. Additionally, stay true to your values and principles. In a world full of distractions and temptations, it's easy to lose sight of what really matters. Remember the teachings you received and the truths you carry in your heart. Live by these values, even when it's difficult. Integrity and fidelity to your principles are fundamental to a meaningful and fulfilling life. I want you to understand that every day is a new opportunity to start over. No matter how many times you fall or make mistakes, there is always a chance to get up and try again. I am here to give you strength and renew your hope every morning. Don't dwell on past mistakes, use them as lessons to grow and improve. With each new day, you can be a better version of yourself. Additionally, practice empathy and compassion. Look at others with eyes of love and understanding. Everyone faces battles you may not know about, and one act of kindness can make all the difference in someone's life. Be a channel of my love, reaching out to those who need comfort and support. Empathy and compassion strengthen human bonds and create a more harmonious world. I also want you to remember to celebrate your victories, big and small. Each achievement is a milestone on your journey and should be celebrated. Recognize your progress and give yourself the credit you deserve. Celebrations are a way to express gratitude and motivate yourself to keep moving forward. 
Don't wait for big events to celebrate. Find reasons to celebrate every day. Remember the importance of rest. In a world that values constant productivity, it's easy to neglect the need for rest. But rest is essential for your physical, mental and spiritual well-being. Take time to relax, to disconnect from daily worries and to recharge your energy. Rest allows you to return refreshed and ready to face new challenges. I want you to also maintain a spirit of curiosity and learning. Never stop seeking knowledge and growth. The world is full of wonders and lessons to be discovered. Be curious, ask questions and be open to new experiences. Continuous learning enriches your life and broadens your perspective. Finally, I want to remind you of the importance of ongoing gratitude. Gratitude transforms your perspective and attracts more blessings into your life. Make gratitude a daily practice, recognizing and appreciating blessings big and small. Gratitude is a powerful act that strengthens your faith and feeds your spirit. Dear son, you are on a wonderful journey of growth and transformation. Stay firm, confident and with a heart full of love and gratitude. I am with you every step of the way, guiding you and blessing you. May your life be a continual expression of my love and grace. Amen. Remember, the spiritual journey is continuous. No matter how far you've come, there's always more to learn and grow. Continue seeking my presence, studying my word and deepening your faith. I am with you every step, guiding you and strengthening you. Finally, I want to remind you of the importance of love. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. Love me with all your heart, mind and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Love transforms heals and unites. Let love guide all your actions and decisions. When you live in love, you reflect my nature and attract more love and blessings into your life. Now, I want to say a special prayer with you. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and love. I thank you for every blessing you shower on me and for every lesson I learned along the way. I ask that you continue to guide me, strengthen my faith, and shape my character according to your will. Help me to be a light in the world, to live with integrity, to serve others with joy, and to love unconditionally. May your presence be constant in my life, and may I always trust your perfect plan. In the name of Jesus, Amen. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May you continue to grow in faith, love and wisdom and may your life be a reflection of the glory of God. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any messages. Share this video with friends and family, so that together we can spread God's blessings. Two videos appeared on your screen. If one of them caught your attention, don't deny it. Press play and watch until the end. Even if you've already seen it, the blessing always increases when you watch it again. May God bless you abundantly. See you in the next video. Dear child, the journey you are on is full of promise and blessings. Remain firm in faith, keep your heart open and always be willing to listen to my voice. I am with you, guiding every step and blessing every moment. May your life be a continual expression of my love and grace. Amen. Throughout this journey, it is important that you maintain a constant connection with me. Prayer is the key to strengthening this connection. Take time every day to talk to me, share your concerns, your dreams and your hopes. Prayer is not just a list of requests, but an intimate and sincere conversation between us. When you open yourself in prayer, I hear every word, every sigh and every beat of your heart. Dear son, may you continue to walk with faith love and gratitude. May your journey be blessed every step of the way. Amen. Two videos have already appeared on your screen. If one of them caught your attention, don't deny it. Press play and watch until the end. Even if you've already seen it, the blessing always increases when you watch it again. Amen. See you in the next video.